Oh my gosh, what is going on, guys? Are we, like, flying right now? I think we're flying. everyone, it's James Chamberlain, and I've got a good one for you today, guys. Roville just updated, and there is some insane stuff in this game. It's quite a shame that this came out while I was on vacation, but now that I am back, I am all ready to go ahead and take a look at this with you guys. It sounds like there's a bunch of cool stuff, so without any further ado, let's hop into this. Alrighty, folks, here we are. We just hop into the server, and I'm just going to really quickly go over this really, really quickly here. They've got some bug fixes and a couple other improvements. Right here, it sounds like bills aren't going to cost as much if you turn some of your electronics off, which is definitely good. If you see right here, it says here that there is a control click to clone, which is absolutely insane. You can clone customized furniture objects, and now you can also customize furniture or materials, which means it's kind of going to be like Bloxburg, where you can actually change the texture of any furniture object. Ability to carry other players. I really want to check this one out and then right here guys We have planes planes have been added into the game that sounds insane and a new boat dock and boats that we'll get to check out I am so so hyped for this also a new nurse job and hospital just lots and lots of cool stuff This is really overwhelming to look at how much there is to check out today But let's just go ahead and load in my tower location Which is one of my latest plots here and this is kind of meant to be my headquarters location when it's done Alrighty guys, so here we are. We've just loaded in. As you can see, I've loaded in my towers. And the first thing that I actually want to take a look at here are the new changes in build mode. Alrighty, so first things first here, I want to go ahead and demonstrate cloning objects. And pretty much, let's put down like an Opera Victorian bed or something. So I just placed down this bed. And now let's go ahead and add some custom paint to it really quickly. As you guys can see right here, here are the all new material texture selections right there. As you can see, I can actually change the texture on these pillows. So let's just customize this bed and there we go definitely a weird looking bed but now what i can do instead of just having to get another one of these beds and then copy over the paint i can just press control on the keyboard and then click and now i have a duplicate of that exact same bed which is really really cool also guys one more thing i want to point out while i'm still over here at my plot if you go into settings here i believe the statistics feature is new here and that now you can see your actual save data size i think for those of you who are expert builders like me i think you'll be really really happy to go ahead and have this little save data gauge that gives you the amount of data you have left that way you kind of know what you're doing when you're building though i am pretty sure that roville has a significantly higher plot data limit than blocksburg as i built some insanely huge and crazy things in this game with lots of detail and i've never ran into any type of a saving issue so i think that roville is definitely on top of it when it comes to that save limit but anyway now i want to go ahead and head over to that hospital and take a look at that Okay guys, so here we are at the hospital, and I'm gonna be honest right off the bat, I was honestly expecting a much larger, more extravagant building. This is more of kind of just like a little urgent care, but nonetheless, let's head on inside and see what it is like. So I see these medicine things here, I'm guessing that this has to do with the hospital, and I already hear a lot of hospital background noise, which is pretty, pretty cool. So we can just like take medicine and a thermometer, and let's see how this job works here. Help patient. All right, this job actually is pretty cool. So you're pretty much just bringing patient stuff, I'm pretty sure. This job doesn't seem to be paying too poorly either. We've already made almost $100. I definitely think it's a pretty cool and unique job here in Roville. And I'm really glad they added it because it's honestly a very interactive job. Being able to walk around the hospital and kind of freely roam the location as you're doing your job, I think adds a little bit more fun to the idea of having to kind of grind this game. And again, the pay doesn't seem to be too bad either. I recommend you guys go ahead and try this job yourself as I think it's pretty fun and it's definitely a unique twist on the classic Roville style jobs. Now that we've taken a brief look at this hospital and I've given you guys my thoughts on that, I want to go ahead and check out the new vehicles, so the boats and the planes. These are the big, massive things. It's actually fairly late tonight, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out because I've been holding back waiting to give you guys my first impressions, and I haven't gotten to take a look at any of these new vehicles yet, but I've really, really wanted to, so I actually decided to go ahead and record this tonight just as a little bit of an excuse to check out these vehicles extra early. So let's go ahead and get over there and take a look. Okay, so here are the boats, and I will admit these are fairly pricey right over here. I've bought them all, but in terms of the prices, they're definitely not cheap. 
the jet ski is like 25,000 and this is actually a wave runner not a jet ski as you actually sit down on it you're not standing up like you would on a jet ski but then we have the two yachts which are both 2 million I'm pretty sure and then the speedster which I think is like 30,000 if you're a new player these definitely aren't the easiest to access but with a little bit of grinding the jet ski and the speedster are definitely very very plausible for you to get fairly quickly I'm gonna go ahead and start off by spawning out this jet ski and just seeing what it looks like and showing it to you guys as you can tell this definitely sounds a lot like a wave runner or jet ski would and this is a pretty neat boat though i do wonder why we are just sitting on the air right now that doesn't make entire sets as if we're trying to stand up and also sit down at the same time but i still think it's pretty cool in terms of speed here this is fairly quick it's definitely not the quickest but i would say it's about on par with the speedster as you guys are about to see it's pretty fun. I don't know if I would recommend this for 25000 I honestly think it should be a lot cheaper than that. I think somewhere around 5000 would be a much better price for this. But nonetheless, I am really glad that they've added it into the game. Next up, let's head on back in and let's take a look at the speedster. Let's just spawn this bad boy out. And this one's actually really cool. Here we go, guys. This is my brand new speedster. Take a look at this beauty. Let's hop on her and take a look at this Wow, I really, really do like the model they use for the Speedster. If I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I think it's a beautiful model. I think it's very detailed and very great looking, but still in that kind of classic Roville style I would expect. Let's hop on it and see how it drives. In terms of driving, it is definitely heavier and more sluggish than the jet ski, but that is to be expected as this is a bigger boat. I am going to say right now that it's not super realistic the way the boat drives. For example, we're kind of at full speed right now. I'm just holding W down, going as fast as I can. And the boat's not even really getting up on a plane, as you can see. Slowing down doesn't make the bow dip into the water or anything. The boat physics and the water physics aren't the most accurate, but this is still fun to putt around in. Now, without further ado, it is time to check out what I really, really, really wanted to check out in this video. And that is the two yachts. Let's go ahead and start with our pearl white Giga yacht. As you can see, it is two million, so definitely quite pricey. But I will be giving you guys information as to whether I think this yacht is worth it or not. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and spawn this for the first ever time. There it is. It has just been spawned. I can see it loading up out there. Wow, this thing really is big and beautiful look at this it looks like it actually does have a furnished interior too oh my gosh guys i am already excited for this wow wow look at this we've got all these different seats that we can actually sit in and they actually work and then we can like go down below deck in here too i think or no never mind it looks like we can't really go down below deck yet which is unfortunate i really do hope that they add something down below deck in the near future or even let you kind of like build the interior of your yacht i think that'd be awesome if there were a way to do that i can see we've already got people up here admiring our beautiful yacht that is really nice I'm definitely happy to see somebody here that's really admiring my build once again, guys. I really appreciate all of you guys, all of my wonderful supporters and friends out there who admire what I do and find entertainment in my passions and hobbies. But without any further ado, I keep on stalling. Let's hop into this driver's seat and drive our all new yacht. Okay, this is not fast whatsoever. Wow, this yacht is really really slow i would have liked to see it be just a little bit faster but guys i cannot say that this is really worth it or anything i mean if you just want to get this to flex or something that is pretty cool but i really don't see much of a use for this yacht other than just kind of putt around and show your friends what you've got come on go back go back what the heck is happening here what oh my gosh what is going on guys are we like flying right now i think we're flying you see this guys we are literally off the map and yet it is allowing us to do this what in the world here we are once again once more back at the boat dealership and now it is time to take a look at the final boat we'll be reviewing in this video and that is the black pearl yacht i believe it is called right off the bat unfortunately this does look to be pretty much the same as the other yacht with just a different paint scheme i think it pretty much is the exact same boat model everything though it's just a different paint scheme there's really nothing else 
different about this. So pretty much guys, get the paint scheme you want as they are exactly the same boat inside and out. I won't deprive you guys of a teeny bit of driving footage with this one though, just to show you guys that this is the exact same boat once again. So let's hop in the driver's seat. Yep, this one is just as slow and everything. Sadly, once again, guys, yeah, it doesn't really look like this yacht is anything different than the other one. I would, however, recommend picking the Black Pearl yacht over the other one, as I think this is a much cooler scheme. The black and gold and red just look really good together. As we're pulling back into the harbor, I want to make some recommendations to you guys as to whether or not I think you should buy these yachts or any of the boats. And the honest truth is I highly recommend buying either the jet ski or the speedster if you want to have multiple people on it. Because these yachts are big, slow, and honestly a waste of money. If they had a better interior, I would honestly be willing to recommend them. But I just can't recommend this to any of you guys unless you have tons of money to spend and really don't care. Now guys, let's go ahead and finally take a look at the planes and the aviation update in this game. I think this is going to be really cool. Hopefully it's even more exciting than the yachts which sadly were kind of a bust but i think that planes are going to be amazing we had helicopters here in roville and now we're going to have planes and i do want to also look at and see if you need like a pilot license like you do for the helicopter to operate one of these planes because i know that for the helicopters you have to have that one million dollar license or you have to spend like 400 robux or some insanely crazy amount and i'm hoping that for planes you don't have to so that some of you guys who can't afford the game pass or aren't super rich in this game still have access to some sort of air travel here in roville let's hop onto the mini map and let's just see where this airport building is i'm not seeing it right now i'm guessing it won't be in the middle of the city and i'm guessing it's going to be somewhere further out yep there it is kind of out in the middle of the map let's teleport there all right straight up it looks pretty barren it doesn't look to be anything too special all i see is a flight control tower and a couple hangars nothing particularly fancy at this airport but let's go see in here because i'm guessing we're gonna buy the planes here in the hangars okay yeah so right here spawn plane let's press e and i'm guessing it will allow me to buy some and it looks like they only have one plane at the moment for 150,000. we'll definitely go ahead and make that purchase and maybe different planes come in different hangars we'll see but let's start with this one let's just see what the small plane is like all right here we go this sounds like a plane to be honest though it sounds just as much like a boat engine as it does a plane controls already seem pretty basic w is up D is right, J is left, just like you'd expect, and then E and Q are up and down. So, pretty basic controls, honestly. Wow, we are definitely quite high up right now, and I am curious what are faster, the planes or the helicopters? I think they're around the same speed, but I think these planes might be just slightly faster, which is pretty cool, as I do like a fast air vehicle, and I am sometimes underwhelmed by the speed of helicopters in a lot of these Roblox games. Let's go ahead and try and take our plane straight up and see what we can do with this. Hopefully it doesn't stall out or anything. And wow, wow, are we doing a backflip? Can you like do air stunts in Roville? We can literally do air stunts here. This is absolutely insane. Wow, that is crazy. I'm already enjoying this a ton. Immediately I've got to say guys, 100,000 if you have it. Immediately I've got to say guys, 150,000 in Roville cash. If you have it, buy the plane. This thing is fun. This is legitimately really fun to just mess around with and just do flips in the air, make cool maneuvers, all of that fun stuff. Before I do go ahead and sum this up, I want to see just how high the planes will actually allow us to go and see if there is like some sort of a height limit or not. Look at how many studs up we are, guys. Just look at those studs. We can almost barely see the map anymore. And now I'm going to do something really dumb and I am going to jump. Three, two, one. Ow. That didn't feel good. Alrighty, guys. There you go. That was the all-new Roville update. Overall, I think this was a great update and brought to the table a lot of amazing new features to the game. And I'm really hyped for what's to come with more planes coming to the game and all of that good stuff. And I've definitely noticed that they're starting to take a look at focusing more on the functionality of the build mode, adding things like cloned objects. I'm sure by now it's only a short matter of time before you have things like an undo button or a control Z and all sorts of good stuff like that, as well as an 
improved paint tool but i hope you guys enjoyed i had a great time taking a look at all of the new items and features in this game today and taking a look at those new vehicles especially the planes which i think are going to be game changing in the near future in this game anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy please leave a like and maybe even subscribe goodbye everyone